Hi, I am doing a roofing demonstration that is going to be odds and ends. These are not final lovely products that are all finished up and I took hours figuring out how to uh, roof it. But this is odds and ends shapes here that I did my waltz demo with. All right, I'll go ahead and um, start with this front one. I'm going to go ahead and just stick a gabled roof here. Now a tip that's good to do to know is that if you copy this, if I did any adjustments, which I just did not do in this case, but if I had done any adjustments to the heights, this will keep me from losing um, the adjustments and having them not be accurate uh, so that the angles still line up over here. And then I'm going to, on the back end, I'll go ahead and do that one more time. Go ahead and resize it for this. And you want to make sure on this one, the um, roofing to, to line up there. So that lines up all right. Uh, and it did that also because I copied the other roof, so I had the same angle. But right now these are at the default angle, so... This right here, you don't want this all this business going on, um, this, this V. So I'm going to pull back one side of this roof. This is a good trick to know here too. If you push, this is, this little arrow on both sides is the eave adjustment. If you drag that in or out, um, it can even go quite a ways. Um, it will drag both sides out. If you only want one side to adjust, you hold down shift while you're dragging and only that one side will adjust in. So doing that, I brought that area in. On the tops on, of the roofs, you always want to have a chimney. You can put other types of decorations that um, can really make a difference on how your roof looks. And the various kinds are up here in roof sculptures and that includes the um, the various chimneys in here and I'm going to just grab uh, now this isn't actually a chimney but I'm gonna go go ahead and pop this on here um, just for showing some different types of roofing and let's go ahead and where's the dog I wanted to try the dog one up here so that we can see something here. Some of the roofing um, decorations you'll have either roofing tiles like on here. These are both similar enough to each other. That's why I'm trying these. And also you might have some paneling or wall decoration. So you either need to complement that or match it as close as you can on the walling to, uh, to not make that look stupid. So I'm going to go ahead and put this clapboard cover. Oh, that's too dark. Let's go over to this one. I'm just going to put this up on the top then. But it matches then this roof decoration that I put up there. We'll do it on all of the tops for to show this. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put... I'll show you the first floor if I shift, click... It applied to the whole the whole house actually use it it's just a whole section since this is so small though it went to the whole house but now they match they make sense together but this is a darker roof tile than um, this is so if we went in here and I just make that roof tile darker it matches close enough so anyways I'm gonna go over here this is a diagonal um, area uh, that I want to rough here. So I would go over to the diagonal options here. This, these are diagonal roofs and just pull it to the edge. I'm going to go out and look at it from top down. And so if I make those fit, let's just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead on this one and adjust the height a little bit first. So if I make that the peak higher, or the pitch of it, um, then I 
it's far more important than it was on that other one because it's not at the default height. So I should copy from that. I'm going to have some fussy work getting it to line up at the same angle. On the other side, I'm going to have to pull this in because it's too wide. Go ahead and put a chimney on this one, which obviously, as I said, you should have on all of them. But yeah. So on this, I want to just go ahead and turn it so it's diagonal. And then that would line that up. I'm going to make it centered, make sure it was centered there. Okay. And now I'm going to put on another little piece. Uh, I'm one of these little decorations here again. Go ahead and grab this, and I'm going to try a different color here. So, yeah, there we go. We have a brown one now. So, go ahead and pull it forward so it's not cutting it off at all. I'll go ahead and use my eyedropper and just get a second one so it pops in, like I say, at the 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 regular angle rather than diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my arrow button and turn it once so those are still not there we go now since these have a brown roof I it looks odd here and um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a brown roof and put on here so that it doesn't look odd with it so that's another example of um, putting using a chimney and these little door kind of faux dormers. They aren't really dormers because there's nothing inside there. There's no room like you would have in a regular dormer. But so this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and put, I'll go ahead and put another gabled roof up front in the center, I mean. Then I, why don't we try, this is called a hipped roof. Go ahead and Pull this over and uh, try that there in the center. Just for a little interest, I'm actually going to pull this angle up one. And adjust it to be a little different. But I'm going to go ahead and put a... Oh, we'll try this chimney in the center. Looks a little bit like a schoolhouse or church or something here with this in the center. But... This is another example then of grabbing a different roofing tile so that it matches with that decoration that I chose. Okay, now I'm going to go to the back. All right, I decided to edit in a different area for the back, so I'm going to do a different type of roof back here. I made a little room there, and now I'm going to delete the walls on it. This is to make a little overhang there and then I'm going to go up a level and delete the ceiling with a sledgehammer. Alrighty now I'm going to make a roof up here that is a half gable roof. This makes a, a nice um, modern type of look and it's a quite a, a simple and handy kind of a roof. So let's go ahead and Pull that back, and I'm going to also pull it down in the front. All right, now I am going to add this type of roofing on that roof, and I'm going to make a flat roof for the rest of the area. So to add that roofing, I'm going to actually use flooring and flooring and if you look up here I want to match the direction that's going and I can't do that with the sheet metal um, the sheet metal roof um, ceiling I mean roofing tile so I'm going to use the right and left button it will turn it and then I can push shift and uh, that will cover that whole area and then I'll have to do the, the little room area that I made separately and then now next I want to go and use this I'm going to actually put a white fencing around here so. 
it before to be underneath there or anything. Now I'm going to actually put a kind of one of these more generous and modern looking roof trim up here on this roof so you can get a, an idea of what that's like one here. All right, a couple more things I'm going to show here is how to, this is an octagonal room and the octagonal will match up with the octagonal room that I popped down there. And if I click this, I can put this right over top of the octagonal room. Um, you can, same thing, you can adjust the eaves out if you want and try showing a circular roof though also on this. So something that is kind of fun on the circular roofs is you can take, you can grab these little orbs, you can do adjustments to make it, you can bring it up into being a dome. And another thing that I thought I would show you on this is there is a trick that is very handy with all the different roofs. You can hold shift and C and it will add more orbs here, these circles that you can grab for adjusting. Um, on some, on regular roofs, it will normally add two additional ones, one on top and bottom. So you have more of them, you can do more fine tuning on the adjusting. And another thing that is very cool, glass roofing. I've used this in a larger room to put in with a tall enough roof, and you have to do all the testing to make sure it clears, but to put an observatory inside. Um, inside that and you have to do all the all the experimenting to make sure that they work correctly but um, it's pretty cool having a having a glass dome like that the other roofs on obviously you know same thing with this I'll go ahead and hit shift and click and I got extra orbs here to adjust with but on this one would be a better example to show one of the pretty glass roofs. Um, when you put the glass roof on, your ceiling disappears so that the light can come into the room. And the other thing I'm going to show you on this lot is how to do a massard roof, which is um, one of my favorite kind of roofs to do. So I would start with, go up here, I'm going to make a rectangular room. And I'm going to build the, the roof around this room. And this is my favorite way to make something like a dormer. Um, you go ahead and then you grab on the roofs. Oops, sorry. Um, you grab, we, we used the hip roof before. We're going to grab a half, I'm sorry, a half hip roof over here. And I'll turn it until the flat side is facing inward. I'm going to drag the flat side so it lines up with the edge of that room. And then I pulled that. Let's see. I pulled that to get it to the other edge. And I'm going to adjust it upward. And I'm actually going to hold down Alt or Option and fine tune this just a touch so that it comes up just a bit more. Okay, now I'm going to come back over here. Copy this roof. All right, pop it in on the other side. Now I'll do the same thing to copy for the short sides. And then adjust it inward. Oops. All right, okay. So let's go ahead and copy this one. And then same thing, got to go down a level. Um, with the arrow buttons, turn it around so it is in the right spot. And this is the massard roof. Um, now there's a couple of, there's some things I love doing with massard roofs. So I'm going to show an example of a few of them. 
first of all, either putting fencing on that is the short one. Another one I really like, if it's a large building, is the short privacy wall. There's this other low stone wall that also can look pretty with certain builds. And there's a couple of um, short fencing that look very pretty up there. This one is base game. This, if you want a more plain one, this works well over here. If you want to delete this, I'll do the control and delete this off of here for right now. Um, I also wanted to show a couple of other things. Um, first of all, the um, the roof trims. Very, very, very important and make all the difference in making it look polished. And you just add them around to the different parts of the roof. And with something like a massard roof, something I like to do is to make a dormer. Now, I don't usually do this because um, it's a little more complicated. It really depends on the, the particular build, whether it's more appropriate or not. But making dormers here, you would just, uh, let's go ahead and drag this out. And I'll do a couple of them here. Go ahead and delete this little wall there. That way inside they're very nice because they extend the room and they're a way to add um, windows into your massard room, the up the upstairs room of it. For a massard roof I actually should have put up here, I mean I should have mentioned you add some type of roofing or um, flooring up here and then you add that that edging a lot of times. Flooring. Let's go ahead and go. We'll just do a roofing for right now. Put that on. This is just an example of some flooring. and I mean some roofing that's added up on there. Now if you had your fencing around here, it would make a nice look still. Plus, if you, especially if you added some of the roof sculptures up here. That can look very nice. Another thing that you can do is to add, uh, well, you can drag them out if you wanted to have it come up here to the edge. That would give you an opportunity to put a bigger window on there, too. Um, something, if you want to put a roof, we usually put either, put this kind on before, but this becomes complicated in what you do behind it also. And, or you can put the half gabled roof, which generally this is what I would pick for a dormer. Now, same thing on these. I'm going to drag the back end by holding shift. Drag that in. Oops, I already did it on that. Now, since I don't like having this be taller, even if I put another side on the back of it or put this as a gable. I mean, as a, um, a full hip drift here and it wasn't unfinished on the back. I still don't like have them hang up there. So another couple of options. I mean, something else I have done. You can just do various things that are creative options. Um, if I go up to the floor up above here, I can add a half wall. I'm going to do a short half wall and let's, see, let's just drag this across the whole thing and this will allow me to have a roof up here and not have it have a rough back end to it but it's going to be I'm going to have to make the peak of this roof far more minor Um, but if I were to go up here and make my 
half of one size bigger back further. So one size taller of a half rough, I mean a half wall, excuse me. Um, I have a lot more flexibility on that. I can bring these up some. And obviously you're not going to have two different kinds of roofs on these. So these are just examples. But to do this, I'm going to have to do this fun thing here. I'm going to have to pull all of these up so that they meet the top of that. This works far better and makes more sense on a large build, a large building, maybe with more heights, various styles. Okay, um, now I'm going to uh, go over a few more things. I Obviously, I pulled this out and did some sample windows here. Uh, something I have done with these kind of things, you can put a nice patio area up on the roof. You can put a patio out here or a deck out here, um, a door to walk out to. You, you have a lot of flexibility of things that you can add in there. But there are a lot of options, and um, you can just have some fun with it and uh, be creative. Thanks. Bye.